Hello everyone, welcome back to Madden 24. This is the Herschel Walker Halfback Career, season number two. This is the week number five. We're at home against San Francisco. And they have a really good defense against the run, but they're getting destroyed against the pass. 250 yards against the, 250 yards passing has been lit, lit up by their defense. So something's got to give. Either our off, our rushing offense is going to get shut down, or we're going to run all over them. So let's see what happens. Let's see what seven strength, five trucking, three stamina. And we need to rush for 100 yards. All right. There we go. We're at 609 right now. After four weeks, we had a huge game, that huge day last week. Well, here we go. It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And we'll see the Bears, Offensive Player of the Year. He was unstoppable a week ago. A mountain of yards and a pair of touchdowns. It's the Bears and the 49ers, and it comes your way next on Madden Football. They say summer is the time to live in Chicago. Well, that's extended into autumn as we are ready to roll under blue skies at Soldier Field. Today, boy, what a matchup. Two NFL franchises with so much history, so much tradition. Getting set to do battle here. Bears, so Niners. Francisco 49ers taking on the Chicago Bears. This is going to be a good one. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you look at this Bears team entering play. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. Can we win uh, two in a row? And we let the Niners drive down and score. Down six nothing here in the early but they point. apparently missed extra point. Wow. Let's see if we can start running the football immediately. Here we go. Here's Walker to start the drive. And just oh, come no on, boys. My God. Get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. <laughs> Sticking with Walker on second down. And not a whole lot there. Maybe a yard to the 27. They'll see about converting this third and eight. Yeah, well, they kind of opened it up for for Herschel to pick up a first down. Walker with another carry. And he does. Play action on this one. Walker from last week's effort, there was no answer for him defensively. Over 200 yards, two touchdowns to boot. And that was a fun film to watch because a few of those runs, it was apparent he was just not going to be denied. And his team is hoping that that carries over to this week as well. Did Justin take off? Straight ahead, Walker. Oh, come on. He won't let me line back up. Nope. Whatever. Come on, defense. You literally let them drive down the field and score again. That's so damn frustrating. They try to get things started offensively. First and ten. Thank you. 
They'll run with Walker to begin the drive. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Second and six, just inside the 30. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six. Changing the play. Now the Bears can call the first to their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. And they'll work from the 29 on second and six. Come on, Ryan Buck. Just a, you ain't got to buck much. Just a little bit. Sticking with Walker on second down. And he'll be there we go, baby. So here's a first and ten at the 38. Out of the gun, Walker with it. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. Second and ten. Play action, post cross. Off play action, fields. That's caught. Hell yeah, baby. Line it back up. Let's run the play action again. Play action. It's fields. And again, they're just getting tore up right down the middle. Walker now on first and ten. And a solid run down inside the thirty. From the twenty nine, here's second and four. Play action again. On play action, Fields. Man, there you go. He, Justin Fields, touchdown, baby. And we have finally seen something Justin Fields can do. Finally found a play that works for Justin Fields. Justin May, May throw for 300 yards in this game. Come on, D. We have a minute 18. Oh well. Zero, and this is not the way to start a drive. Oh my God. Come on already. Well, the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Still first down. Man, ain't the formation I was looking for, but it'll do for now. Up the middle, here's Walker. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he's brought Did he? Wow. First down now, but that clock rolling. Play action, tight end seam. A play fake, now fields to throw. Take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. Give him a little extra credit there. His head was cool as the play broke down. Didn't force a throw, and in the end, 
Hell yeah. Come on, Justin. Just a little bit more, baby. Right back to Cook for another completion. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 27-yard line. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. As a passer, you're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of a defense. So here's the Bears offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. They get a field goal. So out of the locker rooms, here they come. Their first drive of the third quarter. And Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, but we got a tight one and set up to be a very entertaining second half. And as we know, partner, in the NFL, there's trailing and there's trailing, right? Sometimes you're discouraged by how much you're down. But in this case, this is a tight ball game, so there's a sense of optimism here. I think they went in at the half and looked at their play sheet and said, these are the plays we really like. What do you say we use them to start the second half and get us going? They'll start with the option. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. Man, I just love being in this stadium. So much history, tradition, so many great teams and games. And, and we're seeing a pretty good one right now. Hotly contested in the third quarter. On second down, it's Walker. Oh, fuck you. Kiss my ass. And the offense moving quickly to the line. They'll try for the first with Walker. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk. Yeah, yeah, baby. Yeah, wait, let's run it again. again it's oh, kiss my ass. No way in hell he's that damn fast. We're in play action on this one. They'll fake the handoff, now Fields. Oh, oh god dang. Looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Fair to say hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not get a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's gotta throw it better, gotta get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They gotta find a way to bring those those two elements together. Now the Niners get the Jesus Christ, Justin. Finally you dumbass. You got guys wide open. Throw the damn ball. Stupid bastard. You just probably cost us. His, yep, yep, we're done. It's over. You just cost us the damn game because you want to fucking hold the damn ball. Like a fucking idiot. God damn it, Justin, you stupid motherfucker. Damn it. He's such a fucking idiot, man. You ain't got to goddamn do anything but snap the fucking ball. When I tell you to snap the fucking ball. God damn. Yeah, maybe they were coming with a blitz that time and it caused a jump. I think if we saw it, you know that they saw it. Might have been a little discussion down there. Bad guys coming, pick them up, pick them up. And someone jumped. 
From the gun, it's Walker. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. 76 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Sticking with Walker on second down. He'll get a yard, that's all, as they get him down at the 28. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Come on, line. On the handoff, this is Walker. Oh, kiss my goddamn ass. No way in fucking hell. Fuck you. Yeah, as soon as the X-Factor gets it. Yeah. 31 fucking points. 31 points. Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Here we go. Yeah. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Oh, God, man. He's up the middle for three, and it's second down. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Sticking with Walker on second down. God damn, no way in fucking hell, man. The Bears on third down. Two for five to this point. This will be third and six. On the option right is Fields. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They'll run for it. It's Walker. And boy, is he close. Did he get there? No, they're going to say he's short of the line to gain. Bullshit, I didn't make it. Bullshit, I didn't make it. And the Niners take over. Terrific field position. The Chicago offense set to get started. on the ground here on first down and up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down looking to speed things up here going with some tempo back to walker on first down and he puts his head down and gets up to the 42 for a gain of about six holding offense Yeah, so they get that one, Charles, on the right tackle. Yeah, oftentimes in that spot, you're trying to work against a defender, trying to set the edge in the running game, and you're trying to drive around and get your body twisted so that he can't get there. Sometimes your hands get too involved. And Walker once more. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. They'll give it up to the big man Walker. And tough going there as he'll only get it up to about the 31. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Now the throw on third down, knocked away. And yep, Justin started out great, and he started playing poorly. Knock it away. Here we 
And they're indeed going to go for it here on God dang, Justin, you're going to take two goddamn long runs. God damn I knew you got them slow as shit. You are the slowest, stupid ass fucking quarterback I've ever seen. You see the goddamn time running down. Oh, I'm stupid. I'm too stupid. I forgot you're a goddamn Ohio State quarterback. That's the fucking problem. Uh, damn dumbass fucking Ohio State quarterback. Coach is asking the exact same thing. What's going on out there? Almost like they thought they had more time than actually was on the clock. Now on fourth down, that's knocked away and incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And it'll be a turnover on the... My damn, just end the goddamn game, so please. Fuck me. San Francisco, and it was their defense that really made the statement after... Oh, it was shitty goddamn quarterback play. Shitty, shitty quarterback play. Damn. We had better quarterback play. We fucking won that game. One of the worst grades I've got in a long time. Oh my gosh, really? So close to Gridiron Hero 1. Better break tackle. Better break tackle animations. Ball carriers with disability will almost always break strip tackles and cut stick tackles and hit stick tackles. Ball carriers with disability have steerable juke animations and have a higher chance on both fake outs and broken tackles on their first juke attempt. 250 juke moves near defenders. Gosh almighty. That's what I'm so close to receiving. Players with disability have a chance to replenish their stamina once per play when it's half depleted. Buckers with disability are more likely to connect on and play stronger truck tackles. Remember, with disability have better catch in traffic and route running. And coming out of the backfield against linebackers and linemen.
So I need five points to get increased chance to fake out defenders with juke moves. And that'll put it at what? 87. Better break tackle animations. I really like that. Sixteen of fifty broken tackles. Yeah. Frequently gain additional yards of being tackled and receive improved blocking from their O line. It does not appear that their O line is O line is receiving improved blocking. for carry against the Seahawks. Two strings and one stamina will work best for that. Two agility. Of course, that's going to be two speed. Yeah. I guess we'll work, we'll try to get, I love the five acceleration, but I'll take three. Getting there, but getting there. God dang it. Really? Oh, man, it's aggravating. So damn aggravating. God dang it.
Hell yeah. There we go. Now we have 30, not 30, 30 acceleration here. Yeah, I wish. 90 on acceleration overall. And that's close to 90 speed. Two strings, one stamina. Are the Packers still undefeated? No. The Packers have lost two straight. And we are one game behind the Packers and the Lions. For the division lead, Kenneth Walker the third. Three yards per carry, 326 yards, eight touchdowns already. God dang. Seahawks passing for 195 yards. Rushing for 92. They're allowing 258 yards passing, 128 rushing. Wow. Wow. How bad are they? They are two and three like us. 709 rushing yards. Does that lead to lead? It does lead the league. Miles Sanders is second. Somehow he's averaging 7.1 yards per carry. That is insane. 28 broken tackles more than anybody. 314 yards after contact. Miles Sanders is second. Derek Carr has thrown for the most passes. Or passing yards, I mean. Most touchdowns. Carr and Mayfield. Wow. Baker Mayfield's in Washington. QB rating. Derek Carr. Dak Prescott second. Wow. Derek Carr having a career unbelievable year. 13 touchdowns, only two interceptions. Mahomes, 11 touchdowns, no interceptions. Tua completed 74% of his passes. Mahomes, 73. Two is throwing three more yards than Pat, uh, Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, even though Herschel ran for 244 yards in week four, still did not get player of the week. They gave it to Dak Prescott. Who threw for 300, well, he did, he did only throw eight incomplete passes, 348 yards, four touchdowns, plus a rushing touchdown. Yeah, I can't really say much about that one. I didn't really look at it, but I knew he didn't get it. Derek Carr...
It's week six of the NFL, and we'll see the Bears, Offensive Player of the Year. He'll be a focal point of his offense this week. It's the Bears and the Hawks, next on Madden Football. With Mount Rainier in the distance, there are few cities finer on a clear afternoon than this one, and we have a picture-perfect day for football at Lumen Field in Seattle. Today, we've got a Week 6 matchup for you here, as it'll be the Chicago Bears taking on the Seattle Seahawks. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you look at the Seahawks team as they get ready here. They come in losers of two straight, so they're trying to right the ship here a little bit. They're teetering a little bit, aren't they? And now things could really go south if they lose this. The Bears offense backed up here to start this drive. They'll start this drive out on the ground. forward but only gets a pair of yards out of it and it's second down certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield their job is to go ahead and get low almost get into a ball sometimes stack things up and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole sticking with Walker on second down and able to get it across the to it.
They're going right back to Walker. It's about the 23. The numbers for Walker last week, 22 carries for an even 100 yards. And as we discovered in talking with the coaching staff prior to the game, going up against a team that struggled against the run has only emboldened them to run the football more. I expect 40 to 50 carries in this game. Over the middle complete, it's Walker. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30 yard line. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And they dipped a game below 500 following the loss last week. And you get the sense that maybe this team's at a little bit of a crossroads here. Yeah, I think that's a really good way to put it because what's that old malaprop? If you come to a fork in the road, take it. <laughs> because this group, they're losing ground fast. They've got to start winning some ball games. And the good teams, they're starting to separate themselves, and these guys are being left behind. Sticking with Walker on second down. And he is going to be stopped cold on the line of scrimmage. Facing the prospect of a punt from their own end zone. They need some cushion. Let's see what they can do on third down. On the give, it's Walker. And he'll get this only up to about the three-yard line. Two yards on the pick up there. It's fourth down. Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Here's Walker to start the drive. And a short pickup to about the 25. From the 25, here's second and six. Sticking with Walker on second down. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Uh, during that run, an injury here. Those big blockers in some discomfort. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Here's third and three. They'll try and pick it up by running the option to the right. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Now a run with Walker. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. From the 48-yard line, here's the second down and four. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four. Sticking with Walker on second down. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Fields now to throw. And fights him off. Broke through some contact, but unable to reach the 40. This second and four. Up the middle they run. It's Walker looking for a seam and finding none. He'll get back to a lot of scrimmage, and that's it. Two 
Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. Here's Fields. Throw out wide to Walker. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Third down turns to first with that five-yard pickup. Now that's absolutely frustrating for a defender. Had a chance to get him on the ground before he got to the sideline. But what great vision and understanding where he is on the field as he headed for the marker and picked up the first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Back to throw, Fields. He's going to get this one out to his fullback. No gain on the play. And it'll be second down. Fields going to hurry his guys to the line. Looking to throw again on second down. Fields. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. So back-to-back -back plays, each get nothing. And that's going to set up a tough third and nine. The Bears moving hastily in a hurry up offense. Throwing on third down. Fields. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And they move this all the way down to the nine. Now we're going to get a timeout here as it looks like there's a Seahawk injured on the play. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Here's Walker. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. Here's second and goal operating from the eight-yard line. Again, Walker. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. They'll get to the line over. Remember, it's also three down. To throw his fields. Rolling to his right. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as they get it right at the 30-second mark of this first half. The offense is staying out there. Here we go on fourth and goal from the one. They'll try and run for it. And he's not going to get there. Might have even lost a yard. They stop him up short on fourth and goal from the one. And the Seahawks able to come up. The Bears offense set to go to begin the third quarter. And they do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline. Third quarter begins with a run by Walker. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Walker now at first and 10. We'll get this up to about the 44. From the 44-yard line, here's a second and seven. Now Fields. A pass complete to Moore. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 38-yard line. Straight ahead, Walker. And he stopped immediately there. 
Here's second and ten. Here's Fields. And the Seahawk defense gets to him and they bring him down. So now following the sack, Fields and the Bears looking at third down and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag coming in. This could be a first down. Some boos coming down right now from this home crowd after that call. Yeah, and that was because of the pass interference call. But for a second there, I thought maybe they'd gotten a look at my uh, appearance as Othello in the high school play. <laughs> you, you were Othello? Not a good one, let me tell you. A running play here on first down is going to go nowhere as he is tackled behind the line of scrimmage. Sticking with Walker on second down. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping this can work good and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially. Trying to get it to Robinson, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Reek Woolen. And the Seahawks force the turnover. They'll take over at their own 27. The Chicago offense set to get started. Things looking pretty bleak. They still haven't scored here in the fourth quarter, facing the big deficit. Uh, just what silver linings, what can they look to do here offensively? You know, it's funny. I talked about this with a coach in the offseason and kind of had this scenario, like what feels good to you and what feels good to your team. You're down big. You really have, like, one possession left, and you're trying to put points on the board that don't matter. But do that? And he told me they actually do matter. And in this situation, he's going to try and run the best offense he can run, have at least a little bit of confidence to take away from that game. Now, they're going to try their best to get something up on the board and not get shut out. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. On second down, it's Walker. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Again, it's Walker. Now we're going to get a stoppage. There appears to be an injured bear on the field. Hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Here we go. Now a first down throw, Fields. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Jamal Adams. And he'll get this back across the midfield, striping down the 47-yard line. If they had designs of kind of wiggling their way back into this one, that... Certainly not the highest of scoring games, Charles. Their offense yeah, did some okay things. Not a lot of points on the board, but enough for the win with how their defense was playing in this one. Yeah, they certainly brought their A game, didn't they? They weren't fooled by anything that was presented to them from start to finish. That defense, they might as well have told their offense, guys, just kick a field goal. We've got it today. 
So for the Seahawks, they climb back to 500 now at three up and three down. And they'll hit the road next week to take on the Buffalo.